can do this with a dumbbell as well. Here, I got a kettlebell, all right? So what we're gonna do is gonna have the kettlebell, this is the kettlebell, it's gonna be on the ground, we're gonna be in that athletic stance. You're gonna see how my hips come back, my chest is up. And here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna snatch it up, all right? We're gonna snatch it, bring the hips forward, elbow up, and rotate the wrist, and that kettlebell should be up there for nice and comfortably, right on the back of your wrist, all right? Alright, <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing windmills from this side. So my feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. My heel is gonna be shoulder width apart on this leg. The toe is gonna be pointed out as if it's 90 degree angles, alright? Look at that 90 degree angle with your feet. What you're gonna do is keep that eye on that kettlebell, okay? You're gonna have your palm facing forward, alright? You're gonna stretch down. All the way down, keep the eye on the kettlebell, and come right back up, going straight up and down. Oh, no shit. Yeah. If you feel stretched behind your hamstrings, that's normal. That will get you. All right. You don't want to go too heavy, you want to squeeze your pinky, engaging those triceps. Kettlebell windmills. 